In this question, we are told that a circuit is connected as shown and the resistance of the voltmeter now of the voltmeter is 200 ohms. So locating the voltmeter, R is 200 ohms. Okay. So we have to calculate the voltmeter reading, the reading on the voltmeter. Now we need to actually analyze this circuit. Ideally, the same current will flow in series. So the current across the circuit, the current I, we can evaluate. But first, before we can evaluate the current, we need to find the total resistance of the circuit. So if you have that, we can use the Ohm's law. V is equal to I R total. R total now is the total resistance. So that I will now be voltage divided by the total resistance. So our first assignment is to find what is the value of the total resistance. We can call the 500 ohm R1 and the 400 ohms R2. But now R1 and the resistance of the voltmeter are in parallel. So we have R parallel, which we need to evaluate. And for us to find that it is 1 over R parallel is 1 over R the resistance of the voltmeter plus 1 over R1, the 500 ohm resistance. So, if we are to solve this, we can say we are going to have 1 over Rp is equal to 1 over 200 plus 1 over 500. So, for this, we can easily find the LCM as 1000. Then, 200 and 1000 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5 plus. 501,000 is 2, 2,000 is 2. So, um, 1 over RP is 7 over 1,000, such so that our RP is 1,000 over 7. If we find the inverse of both sides, okay? But now, that's not the total resistance. That's not the total of the value resistance. The total resistance will now be the resistance in parallel plus the resistance R2 in series. So we have 1000 over 7 plus 400 over 1. And if we find that LCM, that's 7 and 1000 plus 1 is 7 is 7, 7 times 4 is 2800. So that the total resistance is 3800 over 7. So now, since we know the total resistance, we can find the value of the current from I is equal to V over RT and V is 6 volts. Okay. So we have 6 over 1 divided by the R total is 3,807. So evaluating that, we have 6 multiplied by 7 divided by 3,800. So a calculator can help us to evaluate that. We will have this to be 6 times 7 divided by 3,800. With that, let's put that in scientific notation. Okay. Now, ah, eleven dot zero five exponent minus three minus three amperes. So that's the value of the current flowing in the circuit. Okay. But now we are asked to find the voltmeter reading. What the voltmeter is going to read is going to be affected by the 500 ohm resistance and the internal resistance of the voltmeter itself. Okay, so within these two nodes shown in red, the resistance there is the hard parallel. So the voltmeter reading is going to be the current multiplied by the resistance in parallel. So that will be the voltmeter reading will be I multiplied by the R parallel, okay? So that is going to be 11.05 exponent minus 3 multiplied by R parallel is 1000 over 7. So if we bring in our calculator, we just our initial answer multiplied by 1000 divided by 7. So that is 1.578 or 1.58 votes so that's 1.58 votes and that is the solution to our problem so that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today we hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.